Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island, and Bluffton, South Carolina, and today Hardyville, South Carolina, because we're at Latitude Margaritaville, which is in Hardyville, near Route 95 on the main highway 278, and we're at 897 Coral Reef Way, a brand new Aruba model by Minto Homes. Just closed yesterday to one of my clients for which I was the buyer's agent. We're gonna walk through this home. It's a brand new Aruba, two bedrooms and a den, all on one level, all on slab, 2,338 square feet, three car garage. It's absolutely beautiful. We're gonna walk through it, see what you think. First, we'll just take a look around Coral Reef Way. All the streets here in Margaritaville are themed in Jimmy Buffett fashion, having Caribbean and beach names, flip-flop way and such. And, and these homes are in three different categories. This group, which is the Island Collection, have the three car garages and are generally the largest. Then there's the beach collection with two car garages and single family homes. And finally, they have the villa homes, which they call the Caribbean collection. We'll go into more detail. Again, my name, Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialists are both federally registered trademarks. And Coral Reef, excuse me, Latitude Margaritaville is a gated community. And they have their uh, town center under construction. And we can talk more about that either while we go or whenever we talk about it. But let's just talk about this home right now. The Aruba. All of these homes have hardy planks, sometimes called hardy board exteriors. We have gingerbread. We have corbels up on the soffits. We have shutters with palm trees. We have many beautiful architectural features. Clearly a Key West or Caribbean color motif. Let's go inside. The keyless entry is standard. Our line of sight as we come into the Aruba is straight across the foyer to a long sliding glass door, four big panels. It's the open contemporary floor plan, open to the kitchen with the single level island with the dining area at the back. We have a cathedral ceiling. And I know you've heard me talk about 56 inch fans. How about an 88 inch fan? That's what we have here in this living room. And Minto is the developer, by the way. They're the builder. They uh, offer quite a few options for these villas. And on the ceilings, they offer exposed beams, custom painting, paneled ceilings and so forth. Everyone individualizes the home to their own preference. And what a foyer this has too. 14 feet high, beautiful light fixture. Really a, a very warm welcome into this house. And the second bedroom has its own private bathroom. The two windows facing the front of the house have the uh, arched tops and are set out from the rest of the room. A real nice architectural touch. And you may have noticed we have some beautiful laminate floor that goes right on through. Laminates are the thing these days. Extra wide planks, beautiful color. I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out for my buyer. So here is the second bedroom bathroom with the granite top, undermount porcelain sink, 
beautiful colors. We're into a gray motif with tile right up to the ceiling. Real nice tile work with a little niche on the wall there. Deep soaking tub. Diagonal floor tiles. Beautiful colors, they just melt together. We have panel doors, we have level lever handles. And a very interesting feature that I hadn't seen before, before out here, is that the air conditioner, this is a gas community by the way, so we have a gas heater. We also have gas uh, water heat with a tankless water heater. But now this thermostat and the uh, Air Handler has a dehumidifier built in. Hadn't seen that before. Uh, it's standard out here. Very interesting feature. This is your mechanical closet right there. Over here is the office. Two bedrooms and a den. Now some people can refer to this as a bedroom if they will. And it's possible that this could be a bedroom. But in a Hilton Head den Typically you have a sofa bed for extra guests. Very stylish double doors on the angle facing the foyer. And then your half bath is over here. Well placed, good design. I like the Aruba ladies and gentlemen. It's a, uh, a really nice plan. And I'll be interested to in your feedback as well. So here we are back into our central area. The kitchen with the granite top is standard. The one level island with the granite. For which there are also many upgrades. You can upgrade to quartz. This gentleman purchased the GE appliances. You can upgrade to uh, different uh, levels of appliance. You could go with a double oven configuration if you want. And you have the shaker style cabinets here with the uh, crown molding across the top. Very handsome. Now this buyer chose these colors in the design center. And you can see that he added extra doors there. The glass doors in the cabinets were an option. And it was his choice. And I say he because this is a uh, single gentleman who purchased this house. And just off of the kitchen, we'll talk more about the kitchen, but here's the laundry room. Again, with a beautiful granite top. He purchased the washer and dryer as part of his package. Those are not included, but they can be. Big, big laundry room. Lots of space here. And just off to the right is your three-car garage. So this is the way most people would come into the house, from the garage, through the laundry. And we have a pocket door separating the laundry from the, the living area. Most production builders don't do pocket doors, but Minto does them. Minto, our developer here at Latitude Margaritaville. Beautiful. Glass tile backsplash. Single piece stainless bin with the upscale faucet. Two pendant lights. I believe you have a choice of either two or three. You can have them just uh, wired up for your own selection or you can purchase the lights through the developer as part of your package. Here is your dining area. No wasted space here because this is a large dining area. He purchased the light fixtures as well through the developer rather than going out and getting his own. And that included the window package too. These blinds, that's an optional thing. Crown molding optional. He got it. I'm happy he did. It really dresses up the residence. Let's go see that master bedroom. Now the formula, when you buy from any production builder, and it's also true here at Latitude Margaritaville, 
is you have a lot premium, and they vary depending on which category of lot you're purchasing, which category of house you're purchasing, excuse me, whether it's the villa homes, the beach homes, uh, or the island homes, like this one, the Aruba, and it's a very wide range of options, uh, of premiums, excuse me. Uh, the smaller the house, the smaller the lot, the smaller the option. Those um, villa lots, I'll just give a general range, it's not accurate. Again, I'm not trying to quote prices for the developer here, I don't work for the developer. Go from about $3,000 to $25,000. The uh, beach selection premiums are about ten to thirty, and the island, which is this biggest series of houses, well, they go from about oh twenty to thirty-five thousand. I guarantee you that's not exactly accurate, but I'm just trying to share some information with you to guide you. As we look at this master bathroom, beautiful corner tub with soft gray tiles. Again, the granite is an option in here. Good choice, it blends together. Now, after you contract for a house, you choose your model home, and that's the second step. What model do you want? What size, what model? You combine that with your lot. That gives you your price, your initial price, what is, uh, with all the structural options. That's the first part of any agreement you make with the developer. The second part are all the design options. That's where you come back and go into the design center and with the design specialist that they assign to you, you uh, decide what flooring you like, all of these interior choices on colors and materials, and you choose your exterior color combinations. I think that's actually part of the first choice you make. And so it's an ABC type thing. You choose your model, which has a base price. You add your structural options. You choose your lot and the lot premium, and you get a preliminary price, and then finally you get your different design options. One, two, three, A, B, C, that's the way it works. These tray ceilings and, re and uh, recessed ceilings, by the way, are included in standard. This is your master bedroom. What a beautiful room. And we just walked right past the his and her closets. And we saw the master bathroom. Let's step out back, see the patio. This buyer chose, and this is an integral part of the standard plan, is to have this big covered back patio. It's the kind of thing that the buyer chose not to screen at this time, but it's a very easy aftermarket thing to do. You can run screen right across there. You can extend your patio. There's lots of things you can do. But what a view this house has. It's a water view, a pond view, a lake view, however you want to term it. That is a green belt across the way. It's a pretty location. Beautiful view, great location for this house. I'm very happy for this buyer <clears throat> who chose this house from one of their in-progress homes. Let me explain. What Minto did in this first phase, and this is a first phase location that we're talking about, is that they had a collection of homes which were in progress. They built them out to the sheetrock stage, and then they invited buyers to go ahead and buy it and then choose all of their interior options, and it gave a faster finish. Well, that's what this buyer did. So he chose, he wanted the Aruba. They had this one in progress. He went and made all his interior selections, working with the advisor, the design consultant, and the design center. And then they finished it out, and here we are. We just closed yesterday. If you start from start to finish, the entire process takes about six months from contract to finish. And when they finish, I understand they have a big celebration, welcome you to the neighborhood, and give you a gift. Well. I'm sure that we could talk about so many more things. They have a great town center concept here. Beautiful amenities which are under construction. I really like it out here. 
I've had really good success with my buyers out here. It's very, I should say, and I should have said straight off, Latitude Margaritaville is a 55 and over community. 55 and over community. Your monthly HOA fee here, 202.39. 202.39 includes all of the community uh, recreational amenities, all the services such as the 24 hour security gate. And very importantly, it includes yard care. And not just yard care, but also the irrigation of the yard. So I have to tell you that in going through an awful lot of these new home walkthroughs with the builders and the owners, one of the questions is, well, uh, what's the uh, warranty on the landscape? And the, the superintendent will show you how to set your irrigation system and so forth. Well, guess what? Out here, the Minto is taking care of your yard. So if there's a plant that uh, dies, or if you have some sod that gets a fungus, they'll just fix it. And they're taking care of the irrigation. They're responsible. And they're paying for the irrigation. So I can just tell you as a 43-year uh, area resident that in the summertime, your water bill goes up for the cost of irrigation quite a bit. We're in a semi-tropical area here. It costs a lot. Well, that's part of that uh, monthly fee or annual fee, however you want to say it. It's a good deal. Well, here's my contact information, and I certainly welcome you to call or email. Uh, my name again is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty. And my cell number, please call anytime, 843. 684-2933-843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. My website, gogated.com. And you will find me, I'm sure, and I hope you do, because I'd like to work with you as your agent. The way it works with a developer is that if you, most of my buyers will correspond with me and we come out to Latitude together, we register, and it's very clear that I'm your agent. Well, some people stop in ahead of time before they actually meet with me. I recommend that you tell them in the sales center that you're working with me, Richard Kadish, that I'm your agent. And they'll respect that, and you have a right here in South Carolina to have an agent representing you. Uh, not after the sale, but earlier the better. We can talk about that when you call or email. Please do. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you and to uh, working with you as your agent here. We will compare communities, homes, um, whatever it is you're looking for. We'll make sure that you find it. And if it's here, you'll find it and um, you'll be able to shop with more confidence and with greater success, having a good buyer's agent on your side, ladies and gentlemen. It just doesn't cost anything more to have me on board as your buyer's agent because my fee is already in the price of every listed home and new build. One of the reasons I'm able to help so many buyers in the new build category is because I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. And so I know construction certainly better than most. And I do like what Minto is doing here. So many more things to talk about, but let's just finish up and say thank you for watching. And if you like this uh, video, uh, please uh, subscribe to the Go Gated channel on YouTube. What a beautiful house. 897 Coral Reef Way here at Latitude Margaritaville. A beautiful Aruba model. Two bedrooms and a den, three three-car garage, big covered porch, and in this case, a beautiful lake view. Well, this one sold, but let's build one for you. Thank you again for watching.